I'm going to dive right into an example here. Uh, if you've been following these blogs for a while or just been using Tableau for some period of time, uh, you might have heard about the fact that you can switch worksheets within a dashboard by using a parameter. I'm going to go into presentation mode for this dashboard I've built. Um, so check this out. So right now, there's some superstore data. We're looking at profitability by city. And if I want to switch my view to say, look at profitability by state, um, then I can just hit this parameter drop down and switch between those two options. We're not going to spend time in this video talking about how you do that. Uh, I will provide the link down below this video in the blog so that if you want to learn about how to do that piece specifically, um, you can do that. What I want to talk about here is actually an issue that you might run into uh, when you do something like a worksheet swap parameter. And that's this. Um, since we're looking at profitability by state here and profitability by city here, uh, the ranges of this blue to orange palette are going to be different for cities than states, right? Um, because states are made up of a bunch of cities. I would expect those values to potentially be higher and lower um, than the individual city level uh, profit range. So watch these two legends on the right here. When I am on the state worksheet, you can see that the negative end of the range is about negative $25,000 and the positive end of the range is about $76,000. When I switch to the city section, we're at go about negative 13,000 to 62,000. And you'll notice that when I switch from one worksheet to the next, one of those color legends actually becomes null and they switch. So not really a great end user experience to have two different color legends and only one of them working at a time and your end user wondering what they're looking at and why it's kind of junky. So what I'm gonna show in this video is how you create um, a third worksheet that has uh, a color legend that will dynamically change um, along with the selection in your parameter. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and create a third worksheet. And if you've been known this trick or been through this before, you'll know that you have a worksheet for your state and a worksheet for your city, and just one is showing while the other isn't. So I'm going to just create this third worksheet, and I need a field um, that will switch between either being the city or the state value. So I'm going to go ahead and create that calculated field. I'll just call it geo. And I'm going to say this, if the parameter equals city, then give me my city state field. And I'm going to say um, else if the parameter equals state, then just give me the state field. Pause there for a moment in case you following along and want to jot this down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this geo field, drop it on the row shelf. I'm just going to call this worksheet color legend. And change my mark type to square and drop the profit field on color. Okay, so watch this now. Uh, when since I've got state. Uh, on my parameter right now. Let me go ahead and show that. State is showing up as my individual rows, okay? Um, but if I switch to city, cities are going to show up instead because of that calculated field that I've created. And look at this color legend here. It's now ranging from negative 13 to 62. When I switch to state, the color legend is actually updating, and now it's going negative 25 to six or 76,000. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to our dashboard. I'm gonna get rid of both of the previous color legends that were from the original worksheets. I'm gonna pull my new color legend worksheet out into my dashboard. Uh, but here's what I'm gonna do is I want it to basically sort of be hidden. So instead of bringing it out as a normal object and then having this just weird third worksheet sitting here, I'm gonna set it to be a floating object. And I'm basically just gonna sort of sock it away somewhere in the corner of my worksheet where nobody would ever see it. So if I make it really small, you notice the title still showing up. I might even right click and hide the title. Now it's essentially just a little white box that nobody really knows about, um, but the color legend is still here. So I'm gonna make that tiled so it can go down below this parameter for now. If I 
can remember how to do that. In this drop down at least. I might teach you a shortcut here if this doesn't work out. Oh, yeah, you just deselect floating. It's complete end of the day brain issue right there. Okay, so now the color legend is working. Uh, so I can flip from city to state, and that color legend will actually change accordingly. And my end user is none the wiser that I have hidden a worksheet in the corner of the dashboard. Okay, so the end user experience, still great, even though there's that worksheet down there. But notice, I can't even really touch it because I made it so small, and I can't see it either. So this little trick will work around for you uh, to be able to create a dynamic color legend if you're using the uh, worksheet parameter swap trick. So hope this is helpful and look forward to seeing you for another blog post next week. Thanks for joining.